Four Nan Two. Today I'm going to talk a bit about the Populate layer in World Painter. Using the Populate layer can be uh, very useful for your Minecraft maps. Some of the features it offers are generating biome features such as trees, grass, and flowers, generating ores with generic distribution, as well as generating content from Minecraft mods into the terrain. And there are other applications for the layer. All of these features are created in your world when you open the world for the first time using the Minecraft client. Now, one of the biggest problems that makes the populate layer something that people rarely use is its lack of customizability. Most of the features it enables are in fine, but the water and lava lakes that spawn and pockmark the terrain when using the populate layer basically makes it unusable. The FAQ on the World Painter main website even has a question on how to get rid of these lakes, and the answer is not to use the populate layer at all. However, this is no longer correct, since Mojang added super flat presets to the game. As far as I know, nobody has realized the potential application of these presets with World Painter until now, and that is what this video is about. Super flat presets consist of four parts, a version number, a list of block IDs, a biome ID, and a list of structure generation options. I'm only going to be talking about the fourth piece because that is the part which, that is most relevant to World Painter. I'm going to be looking at the Structure Generation Options section of the Super Flat page of the Minecraft Wiki here, uh, which I will link in the description. I'm going to leave the options Village, Biome Underscore One, and Ocean Monument for last. The Mineshaft option will allow abandoned mineshafts to generate in your world. However, be wary when using this option, because mineshafts will generate as high up as the topmost layer in your Super Flat preset. Say the top layer is at Y75. Mine shafts will be able to generate anywhere below that value, even floating in the air. If you have a very low Y value for your topmost layer, mine shafts will generate only up to Y30 or so. That's what I've seen, anyways. Uh, you will need to have structures enabled for this to generate. The stronghold option will generate strongholds just like normal. They follow similar rules to mine shafts. You will need to have structures enabled to use this feature as well. Uh, there's also the dungeon option, but there's not really much point in using this option because dungeons require very specific conditions in order to generate in the Minecraft world, and simply having this enabled will not satisfy those conditions, so you'll likely never have a dungeon generate. Uh, once again, you would need to have structures enabled. Uh, the decoration option is arguably the most important option to have enabled. This option is what generates trees, grass, ores, and a variety of other basic biome features. Lava and Lava Lake are the options that enable the annoying little ponds to generate all over your carefully painted map, and by simply omitting this tag from the generation string, they will not generate, and your world will be untouched by lakes. Now, for the options Village, Ocean Monument, and Biome Underscore One. First off, all these options require structures to be enabled before you can use them. Also, the biome ID that you would set up in the Superflat code is the only biome that Minecraft looks at when placing structures in the world. It does not matter if you paint a plains biome in World Painter and you want villages to spawn. If the biome ID for the Superflat preset is not a biome that villages can spawn in, such as a forest, they will never generate. The same goes for each of these three options. Conversely, Having the biome ID set to a biome that does allow for the village generation, such as plains, desert, or savanna, will allow villages to generate anywhere in your world, regardless of the biomes that you have painted. So, if you painted an extreme hills biome, it could still spawn a village there if that's what the world seed would otherwise call for. Once again, this goes for the other three options, which is why many world painters have found ocean monuments in places they might not expect. And that's all the structure generation options that Superflat presets offer. If you don't want one of these features, simply omit the option from your Superflat string and you'll be good to go. There are a variety of online tools for making formatting the Superflat string easy. You can find those pretty easily with a quick Google search. Also, although not yet directly supported by World Painter, you can use Minecraft 1.8's new customized world generation option to achieve a similar effect. However, there aren't really any advantages to doing this, so I won't cover that in this video. However, if there is enough interest, I can make a follow-up video explaining how that would work. And that calls an end to this video. If you have any questions on what I talked about here today, uh, feel free to ask them. 
Uh, anyways, I'm Fornan2, and I'd like to thank you all for watching, and goodbye.